is up guys welcome back to another day on the project today's an exciting day i don't know why i always start out with that i got a new tool this here reciprocating saw which i got a pretty good deal for for 40 bucks it's what i'm going to use to cut out some of the wood in the boat let me show you guys real quick those boogers back there, you see where I was kind of starting out trying to cut some of that fiberglass off. What I was running into, you can see towards the back bottom corner, you can tell it's a little more rotten out. Tell you what, higher up, more towards the front here, the wood is actually hard. I know, something we don't find very often in this boat, but there is hard wood there. So... I couldn't just cut through the fiberglass skin, I actually had to cut through the wood itself. Now the reason why you can't do that with that uh, metal grinding disc on the angle grinder is it can kind of cut through it, but what was happening was it wasn't really chipping away at the wood, it was really just heating it up. And so the wood was actually just kind of burning and it started smoking a little bit. So, that's what I got the reciprocating saw for. As you can see, I've got the circular saw there, but that's a little more clunky and it was harder to get that in to cut towards the bottom of that. And also, it was getting stuck a little bit more on the fiberglass. So, now we've got the reciprocating saw. And today, we're going to be testing it out for the first time. We just gotta pull the boat out there, get the car out of the way, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Alrighty, we got the boat pulled out, at least far enough anyways. So now what I wanna do is go ahead and get this, uh, New reciprocating saw set up. Alrighty guys, so we've got our reciprocating saw ready to go here. I've got the medium sized, uh, semi-fine wood cutting blade in. Feels pretty heavy duty. Hopefully it lasts a long time. Before I get to cutting, safety first, I'm going to put on the respirator for that fiberglass dust and the goggles for all the stuff that will kick up. And you know what else? Since it's already over 100 degrees today, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on this full body suit as if it wasn't hot enough. Alrighty, I'm now equipped. To go to war, I'm already burning up, sweating to death. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so we've actually made a lot of progress you can see here, got that cut back most of the way now, got almost all the foam out. I'll tell y'all what, for looking like a, such a small cavity, sure does make a lot of foam filling up the boat. One thing I wanted to show y'all though, because I did note that some of the wood up here was actually still good, it wasn't rotted out yet. But what I didn't know was that the flooring for the deck went all the way underneath that cavity of foam. And all of the wood in there, I mean it's all just completely rotted away, disintegrated. All up under there. 
So it's a good thing we took it out because the deck does go under all that. And as you can see, the wood is just crumbled. So glad we're doing that. It's the right thing to do. I'm gonna keep making progress. I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank my 40 subscribers. Honestly, you guys, I cannot say thank you enough. Y'all make a huge difference. And I know what a lot of y'all think, you know, 40 subscribers, it ain't that much. But I'm telling you, honestly, the first 100 subscribers are the most important. So once again, a big thank you. Now going back to the video, unfortunately, I actually didn't film the rest of me cutting out that back right piece. But for anybody who's still watching the video up to this point, you're in for a special little treat. You are going to get a top secret sneak peek literally two weeks ahead, maybe not two weeks, but one week ahead to me taking out the other side. Holy cow, that is a huge piece of foam. It all came out in one piece. That is really crazy. That is a big boy right there. And that is where we're going to end today's video. I know that really wasn't that much of a clip to show, but at least it was something. I mean, it was pretty crazy that that whole foam cavity came out in one chunk. Honestly, on all the foam that I removed in the boat, that was the only piece that came out in literally like this big, this big, like nearly as big as me kind of piece. It was pretty insane. But anyways, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. I know today's video was a little short, but I'm sure y'all won't complain about that. <laughs> um, I do wanna say, Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a thumbs up, and if you want to uh, stay tuned for the next video, you can always just sub sub subscribe to the channel and notification bell, and so then you'll be able to get notified when the next video comes out. How great will that be? And in the next video, what I'm going to be doing is cutting more stuff out of course but I'm basically gonna be getting all the stringers cut out of the boat so stay tuned for that um let's see what else I think that's about it it looks like I'm not quite gonna make the 10 minute mark <laughs> but that's okay I will see you guys next time <laughs>